It had no relation to anything one said. Her eyes would be transfigured as if by a shaft of silver. She left early that day, and I crossed the room to ask Olga about her. I was in an agony of impatience to know everything. Olga could tell me very little. She comes from Hungary, she said. No one knows who were her parents, Jewish, I imagine. Vorky brought her here. He found her in Paris playing the violin in one of those Russian cafes. She won't have anything to do with him, though. She lives entirely alone. Vorky says her talent is marvellous. If she only goes on, there will be no one to touch her. But she won't work. She doesn't seem to care. I heard her at Vorky's flat. It sent cold shivers down my spine. She stood at the end of the room, looking like something off another planet, her hair sticking out, a sort of a fur brush round her head, and she played. The notes were weird, haunting.